freaks and dreamer folks, what is up you guys? Today I am going to be going over 14 hacks that will help you keep your kitchen clean. But before we do that, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we are all about cleaning, organizing, and disinfecting. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, clean fruits and veggies without harsh chemicals. Scrub fresh produce with a mixture of baking soda and water to remove grit, grime, and also pesticides. Number two, give the coffee grinder a clean new look. Coffee grinders don't exactly get dirty, but grounds often clump up inside the grounding well. To remove stuck on grinds, toss a few chunks of stale bread into the small appliance. Pulse and then dump the crumbs. The coffee will stick to the bread. Number three, clean cast iron without causing rust. Scrubbing cast iron pans with soapy water is a no-no. It strips away the magic of the pan. Instead, clean cast iron with a salt scrub to remove stuck on bits of food. Pour a cup of coarse kosher salt into a warm skillet and then scour with a chainmail scrubber for cast iron pan. Then rinse with hot water and then dry with another towel. Number four, make an electric kettle glimmer. Lime scale often builds up on electric kettles, French presses, and other metal kitchen tools. To make them shimmer and shine like they were brand new, scrub them with one part vinegar to one part water. If there are no electrical elements to what you're cleaning, you can go ahead and soak the metal in the solution or fill a kettle with vinegar and water and let it sit overnight. Number five, decrust a microwave. Get an angry mama, pop it in the microwave, and let it cruise around the turntable for a minute. This hack is a double whammy that loosens all the gross caked on stuff inside the microwave, making it easier to wipe away later. You can watch our video on the angry mama review, and we'll put that in the card above. Number six, combat cross-contamination. It's always smart to have two cutting boards, one for raw meat and one for everything else. It helps to separate uncooked meat juices, ew, from raw fruits and veggies, keeping you and your family safe from cross-contamination. Number seven, bring new life to wooden spoons. When wooden spoons don't exactly look or smell like they used to, boil them in a pot of water and leave them lying in the sun to dry. Number eight, keep wooden cutting boards looking new. Scrub a wooden cutting board with coarse salt and massage it with a half a lemon to clean away food particles and food smells. To keep wooden boards in tip-top condition once a month, conditioned by scrubbing with food grade mineral oil. Number nine, put an end to slippery cutting boards. Need a little traction underneath a wooden cutting board? Place a damp dish towel under the board, keeping it from slipping and sliding across the countertop. Number 10, keep sponges dry. Using an upside down binder clip as a cute little stand to keep kitchen sponges upright. It'll dry faster and stay icky free for longer. Plus, decreasing the moisture in the sponge means germs, mold, and stink have less of a chance to build up. Number 11, learn to fight fires. If your fire extinguisher isn't within reach in your kitchen where it should be, before stopping, dropping, and rolling, sprinkle baking soda onto a small grease or electrical fire to extinguish the flames. When heated, baking soda releases carbon dioxide, which helps stifle the fire. It's always a good idea to have a kitchen fire extinguisher on hand in the kitchen in case of a kitchen fire. Number 12, keep knives sharp. Remember to sharpen your knives. Get a good knife sharpener. Another way to preserve sharpness, after chopping, transfer foods into a pan or bowl using the back of the knife rather than drawing the blade across the cutting board. And remember kids, sharper knives are safer than dull knives. Sometimes though, it's just time to get new knives. Number 13, remove icky cooking smells from your hands. Neutralize garlic or onion scented hands by rubbing them with lemon juice or baking soda. Number 14, keep recipes clean. This means your phone clean. We are all cooking using our phone these days and if you wanna keep them safe and out of the way, but handy so you can check the recipe often, we found that this flexible phone holder is perfect to keeping your cell phone clean and tidy. So that sums up our 14 kitchen hacks. I hope that you found them helpful. What is your favorite hack? Put that in the comment section below. Again, if you're new to Clean Freak and Tripophobe, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And up next is our video about our bathroom cleaning hacks. We'll put that at the end of this video. Click on that and we will see you over there.